The college football season is just a couple weeks away, and everyone loves to talk about freshmen. And for today's video, I thought that'd be a pretty interesting topic. But in today's video, we're gonna go through 10 true freshmen who can see the field, go through who they are, what their impact can be, and why people are high on them. But right before we get into that, we just hit 50,000 subscribers, so I wanna say thank you for that. And now we are on the road to 100K, and since nearly 80% of you guys are not subscribed, I'm going to need your help to hit that goal. So be sure to hit that button, as I really appreciate it. And now let's get started and talk about 10 true freshmen who can see the field, SEC edition. So to quickly clarify, in today's video, I'm only gonna be talking about true freshmen on the offensive side of the ball who have an opportunity to play right away. The first guy we're gonna start with is Alabama wide receiver, Ja'Cory Brooks. I bet the rider of this went back and forth between Brooks and Agaye Hall, but he did settle on Brooks. He was a five-star recruit in the class of 2021. And with Jalen Waddell and Devontae Smith now headed to the NFL, there is an opening for some spots at the wide receiver position. John Mechie will be wide receiver number one and a future first round pick from Bama. But outside of that, there's a lot that the Tide need to figure out. Guys like Treshawn Holden and Javon Baker are more than likely going to step up, but they will need a freshman player to step up and Ja'Cory Brooks is definitely that guy. While Brooks did not play in the A-Day game, he is bigger than any of these other star wide receivers through Bama. And he also has the speed and skill set to contribute right away. Last year, Arkansas ended up going 3-7, and, and this was under first-year head coach Sam Pittman. With new quarterback K.J. Jefferson at the helm, he will need some help. Yes, they do have a superstar wide receiver and a potential first-team All-American in Traylon Burks. They will need more than just him. Mike Woods was option number two for the Razorbacks, but he decided to transfer to Oklahoma. So now this leaves an opportunity for a freshman to step into that role. And the guy that we're going to talk about is Keytron Jackson. According to 24-7 Sports, Keytron Jackson was a four-star recruit, the number 26 wide receiver, 165th best player in the class of 2021, and he came out of Royce City, Texas. He was a six-foot-two guy who had dominating high school stats and was also both a sprinter and a jumper. He's someone who has a high ceiling, a great work ethic, and an opportunity to take a spot on the field. So don't be surprised if he plays a lot. Georgia has had some really good wide receivers over the past few years, but all of a sudden they need help at that spot as superstar wide receiver George Pickens will likely be gone for quite a while. So who is going to step up? Well, we could look to a true freshman by the name of Adane Mitchell. He apparently emerged in spring practice and really showed out in the Georgia spring game. He had seven catches for 105 yards and a touchdown there, and he looks like he will make an instant impact. According to 24-7 Sports, Mitchell was a high three-star recruit, the number 64 wide receiver, and the 385th best player in the class of 2020. I look forward to seeing what he can do this year, and if he can become that number two wide receiver behind Kiaris Jackson. Up next, we stay in the SEC East as we go up to Columbia, Missouri, as we will talk about Dominic Lovett. While the Tigers are pretty loaded at the wide receiver spot, as they return Kiki Chisholm, Toski Dove, and bring in Ohio State transfer Mookie Cooper, I think Dominic Lovett has a chance to play right away. After originally committing to Arizona State, Lovett decided to reopen his recruitment and he would flip to Elijah Drinkwitz and the Missouri Tigers. Coming out of East St. Louis High School, Lovett was a four-star recruit, the number 54 wideout, and the 337th best player in the country, as according to the composite, but 24-7 sports themselves had him as a top 250 player and the number 34 wide receiver in the nation. As a Mizzou fan myself, I've heard a lot about Lovett and he is really buzzing right now, so don't be surprised if he has a pretty good impact. Tennessee lost their top two running backs in Ty Chandler to North Carolina and their star running back Eric Gray to Oklahoma. In year one under Josh Heupel, everyone is talking about the quarterback position, but the volunteers need to figure out who their starting running back is gonna be. While there are a couple of good options, I think true freshman Jalen Wright has an opportunity here. He's a super quick back out of the state of North Carolina, and is someone who is seen as a hidden gem in the 2021 recruiting class. According to 24-7 Sports, he was only a three-star recruit and the number 40 running back, but he's a guy who could have an impact right away, and people are already talking about how he could see the field in week one. He likely battled out with Aaron Willis and Tyon Evans, and since Wright was a state champion track athlete, I think those physical skills will translate right away. Moving to the SEC Western Division, LSU's had some really good wide receivers over the past few years, but guys like DJ Chark, Jamar Chase, Terrace Marshall, and Justin Jefferson coming through the program. And it looks like Kayshawn Butte is the next man up, but you can always use more help at the wide receiver spot. And outside of Butte, I'd like to see someone else step up. Look no further than Deion Smith. He was an early enrollee to the LSU program, the number one player in the state of Mississippi, and has shown some flashes of brilliance in the spring. 
He has natural playmaking ability, and at 6'3 and 200 pounds, he can be someone that Max Johnson relies upon to make a big play. According to 24-7 Sports, Smith was a four-star recruit, the number nine wide receiver, and the 70th best player in the class of 2021. I'm excited to see what he can do. Mike Leach is known for a high-powered offense and quarterbacks who put up big-time stats, but we have yet to see on-the-field success translate to the SEC. Outside of that weird win over LSU where KJ Costello broke the SEC record, the Bulldogs struggled last year. Jaden Wally emerged as a legitimate number one wide receiver option, but you're always looking for more weapons in the air raid offense, and a true freshman by the name of Theodore Knox could see the field right away. He ran a 4.440 yard dash time, and according to Mississippi State's wide receivers coach, he's been asking all the right questions, is ahead of schedule in terms of his development, and he is supposed to play a lot this year. According to 24-7 Sports, Knox was the number 39 wide receiver, a four-star recruit, and the 254th best player in the class of 2021. He came out of the Woodlands, Texas, and he is 5'10 and 170 pounds, so I expect him to see the field right away, and he could be one of those names that we hear a lot in the future. In my opinion, Kentucky is a legitimate sleeper team in the SEC East this year and could make a lot of noise like they did in 2018. The quarterback spot is a little bit worrisome for me, as neither Will Levis, Joey Gatewood, or Bo Allen really strike me as superstars, but I think Mark Stoops will find the best option, and they will need a quarterback who can get those weapons the ball. They return a super senior in Josh Ali, who's been extremely productive in his career. You have Nebraska transfer Wandale Robinson, who adds a new element that Kentucky's offense has not seen in quite a while. And then finally, you have Trayvon Morgan, a supersized target from Michigan State. Outside of that, though, you're always looking for more weapons at the wide receiver spot, and a guy who could have an immediate impact is named Chauncey Magwood. Coming out of Lee County High School in Georgia, Magwood was a high three-star recruit and the number 86 wide receiver in the class of 2021. He was a former quarterback in high school, so he knows how to attack a zone and brings a different mindset to the position. He has steady hands and above average athletic ability, and while his route running is not quite there yet, the Kentucky coaching staff is extremely high on him, and now he'll have more of an opportunity after a senior by the name of Cleveland Thomas tore his ACL, and this will open up that fourth wide receiver spot. While we have no idea who will step up, as of right now, Magwood could be a freshman that sees the field early. Going back over to Fayetteville, Arkansas, the Razorbacks had a running back emerge by the name of Traylon Smith last year after Rakeem Boyd decided to opt out. While Smith ran for over 700 yards and will likely be the number one option, there is an opportunity for a true freshman to play right away. Raheem Sanders was a four-star recruit in the class of 2021 and the number 14 athlete. He goes by the name Rocket because of his speed and he is already the second biggest back in Arkansas's rotation. Originally through my research, I didn't see a whole lot of hype on him. Coaches have been talking about how he's been a difference maker in practice, looks ahead of schedule in terms of his development, and with the lack of experience behind Traylon Smith, I think we could see an opportunity for Sanders to become the number two back, or at least see the field a decent amount. Finally, for number 10 on this list, we're to go back to Tuscaloosa and talk about the wide receivers once again. I already named Ja'Cory Brooks as a potential freshman who could play right away, but the guy with the most buzz is Agaye Hall. He put on a great performance in the spring game and had a catch that had everyone saying wow. According to 24-7 Sports, Agaye Hall was the number five wide receiver, a four-star recruit, and the 45th best player in the class of 2021. He has the size, speed, and measurables to be a great player, and it's only a matter of time before he becomes the next great Alabama wide receiver. So yeah, in today's video, we talked about 10 freshman offensive players in the SEC who could make an impact right away, went through who they were and why they could have an impact. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, a topic I could do next, a player that you are very high on who's a freshman, and also before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.